for some of them grenades out this time. If I remember to push the button. <laughs> Go uh, on. You're getting cold. Something's gone wrong here. Something's gone horribly wrong. I'm super zoomed in. Uh, you got photo mode, right? Open the door and hopefully it will go back. Yeah. I'm crouched. No, I'm I'm still super zoomed in. I don't know what this is. Let me put your gun away. Open the door. Uh, we're about to die. Jesus, Shepherd. Get back into the. I can't get in the Mako now. Well. <laughs> Hopefully I saved it after we did all that shit. Oh, don't think you did. Oh, fuck me. I think it's because I changed... Yeah, oh no. I changed all our gear when we had our weapons out. Change our armor. I don't think I did. I don't got. Well, I must have saved it then. Gun on. No, there's only mine and whichever one you did. No, we definitely, uh, we definitely. They've, they've got the best gear they can get. Okay. Gotta make sure. Yeah, because I put all the upgrades on and everything. It's just, uh, We just had a weird glitch then where I... Oh, explodey bum. Boom. I've got, I've got the sniper rifle out. Okay. Right. Hail Traveller, well met. Engaging target! Fucking Krogan. Lift that guy. Uh, we're about to be in trouble because there is a Krogan there. Uh, I need to do something about that. Uh, can you overload him and singularity him? Another Krogan. There are two Krogans. <laughs> okay, uh, put one of them on his ass at the very least, and then uh, warp him. And I guess at this point, ah oh, shit, I'm just gonna shield this. One of them's dead. Uh, can we do anything? Lift him up. Overload that one skill. Skeet shoot. That Krogan is not dead and he's just fully regenerated. Holy fuck. Neural up. shock, please. <laughs> I think we overload. I can't shoot. Okay, I can shoot. I'm gonna swap back to my sniper rifle. Holy fuck that crow. I'm gonna do that, and then I want you to throw it. When he gets up, I'm gonna shoot him again. And I know you'll get up, because I can see you moving on my radar. <laughs> this has been a an epic st No. Hello friend. Do you wanna stick your nose out? Right there. See, I don't want to get too close to shit like that. Oh, 
he's he's somewhere there. Anyway, there's a locker here. We'll just decrypt that just while we wait. Maybe you go. I like this because it stairs and pauses it on this one. You currently have 253 items. You are oh. nearing the 300 item limit. You'll be forced to salvage any new items you find once you've reached this limit. Sell or salvage some items at your earliest convenience to avoid reaching the limit. Okay. We needed some more Omni Gel. Um, I'll probably deal with that off screen when you're not involved and I'll just sell everything. So we know we've got two mercs. Yeah, you've got a sniper, mine, sniper rifle there though. Yeah, but it's got you radioactive wanna... something or other on it. It's good, trust me. Um, yeah. <laughs> Who's got Neural Shark? Yeah. Fuck. Eat this! Eat that. Take too long to go back, don't I? It's literally retreating from my grenade. Son of a bitch. I just got rid of him. That made him disappear. A bunch of power junctions. Power junctions, that's what. Uh, okay. That one I want. And probably the pistol. I want all of this shit. We'll get on the Normandy and I'll just sell a whole bunch of stuff. Average decryption. Well, it just gave us a codex or something for. Oh, good God. I don't actually want any of these pistols or shotguns because we've already got that and I know that. Alright, there's Captain Willem. Oh, we found him. Discovered the corpse of Captain Willem of the MSV Majesty. His stiff fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. Take data pad. Yeah, we got to go back and tell that dude now. And that is that. But if we go downstairs, there should be another door that we could access. Should be. All the other ones have got one. Of them. A whole bunch of dudes died of mercs. That's that plot done. Mm. In fact, most of Mass Effect 2, because you're in lawless space, is dudes died to mercs. Um. And then Mass Effect 3 is quite obviously everyone died to everything. Cryo rounds. I don't want cryo rounds. Yeah, freeze them. No, free cryo's crap in this one. It's really good in Mass Effect 3, but... In Mass Effect, it's rubbish. It takes way too long to freeze them. All right. Like you have to keep hitting them with the cryo rounds. All right. Mass Effect Three, you get cryo blast, and it's kind of a short range um, shotgun of ice. All right. That freezes them in place or um, fucks with armor. Right. Right. One more to do. Have we done that anomaly? No, we haven't done that one. We went up one side, cross, and then come back down the other side. You said. Right. Hopefully it's nothing that will fill our inventory. Uh. Maybe it's the pressure more. <laughs> I, I want to fight more pressure. I like fighting pressure. I don't think it's a pressure ball. Ancient debris. Oh. <laughs> no. Like, why are you timing me? It's not like anything's going to happen. I won't. I won't be able to pick Sydney. it up. Insignia. It's an old model freighter. Part of it's marked with a Chatai outpost insignia. Yay. Yay. That. Right. 
That one. Debris. Ah, make out. That's gonna hurt. It's a little too rough. Absolutely wrecked my front right wheel, man. Thanks, friend. This better have been worth it. Redeploying. And we absolutely will be killing the Thresher more in Mass Effect 2 on foot, and I'm going to enjoy doing that. Because it's hard. It doesn't even expect you to be able to do it. You get a special achievement just for killing it. And Rex is like, wow, you, you actually killed one on foot. Well, this is a bust. Um, but hey, boo. Hello. Come on, up the cup. Oh, fuck my life. Fuck my life. Oh, I... Any color other than fucking red would be great. Look, there's no punishment for this, so. Oh my god, really? You nearly had it then. See, in Mass Effect 2, if you fuck it up, they lock you out. And you can never hack it again. Alright. Oh, but in this one, there's no punishment. Yeah, you no, can I just keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's... But the you hacking always... minigame is better in Mass Effect 2. Uh, we can still take all of that. Medical interface, cryo explosives. Ooh. Cool. One more. No, that's it. That's it. That's the planet done. Return to Normandy. And um, we will go down into the shuttle bay and we will talk to the uh, acquisitions officer and we will sell a bunch of shit. I was going to do it off screen, but we're here. We're here. How are we doing level wise? Level 20. Not bad. Half Paragon. Nearly half Paragon. Nearly half. Well, you have got four points, actually. Oh, back to thinking of four points. Um, we get Master Marksman, but we don't really use Marksman. We can put hacking up and get advanced AI hacking. You can take out the bigger ones. The destroyers and the yeah, primes and shit. Yeah, that'd be better. Uh, um, I can put first aid. Uh, we're gonna go downstairs. That's not downstairs. This is downstairs. That's downstairs. We're gonna go talk to the acquisitions officer. 
must go down in the bar, you've got to go down in the lift, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we could just go and sell this shit on the Citadel, but we're going to do what we're going to do. Yeah. And after this, I'm going to show you the new fucking coat, um, tour trailer that was amazing. That came out, like, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. You know when Bioware do Star the Star Wars, they, they do the MMO. But the um Looking for supplies? I'm looking to offload some shit. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Right. Um sell all junk. Sell, right. Got so much crap. Look at it all. Yeah. Let's go right to the bottom and just sell all the shit that's like pissed here. I don't want any of it. Fucking, why is this an item? That's the thing that really bothers me. We've got a billion credits. There's nothing we can't buy. There's nothing we don't need. Where have we got a billion credits? We've got 781,771 credits. Look, we've still got, we've got like four level one amps. Right, sell. Sell. Sell, 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 sell. We get to level five. Can you talk to this chap? Yeah. Ah, level five. Go buy. Look, he sells level eight limited fucking super spectre gear. Excellent. Well, yeah, he sells that. all the level eight awesome stuff. Yeah. Have we got it? Let's Have buy we... level eight heavy armor. I don't think we have heavy armor training. I'll see if you can sell heavy armor. Oh, we've got training for it. Yeah. Um, I don't think we. Do we have heavy armor training? No, we don't have any heavy armor training at all. It's fine, but uh, I don't remember how that shit works. Anyway, we should now have a whole bunch of free inventory slots. Yeah. Okay. To be fair, I could probably do a bit better than that, but that was... Let's deal with our inventory that issues in clean, three minutes. quick and dirty, was it? Yeah. I don't like it's. Oh, that's what pisses me off every time I try and play Knights of the Old Republic, and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you haven't got enough space stuff. I'm like, I don't fucking. Oh, if you want to see the log first, find out which mission we got to do next. Uh, we've got to go back to the Embassy Lounge and inform no, Asana. We've got to go back to the Citadel Tower and speak to Admiral Kahoku. We've got to go and talk to Gareth. So we've done everything there, so now we're just exploring systems. Right, so we've done all the side missions then. We've done all the ones we've got. Which systems haven't we been to then? Uh, it's not my job to know. There's an area. They all sound familiar because they're in all three games as well. Like the systems never change. I'm pretty sure we've been here. Pretty sure we've been here, Bob. Amaranthine, yeah, that's where we just were. I'm pretty sure that's where we just were. Ah, uh, that one and that one. No, okay, pretty sure we did this one last time.
Yeah, because there's the engineering outpost. The Turian wreckage. And the escape pod. Yeah. Unless there's something over here. how they depose when they get out. Oh, what, really? How can I fail this one? Uranium from Uranus. That's it. <laughs> Back to the ship. But it's worth it for that extra one. You got any points? Four. Caden and the arrow both have four. Um... Master first aid, and then have two more in decryption. And uh, Liara, uh, she's got everything I wanted to have, so just have some more you know, electronics and some more first aid. Okay. You'll know when we move the plot on, by the way, in case you haven't noticed, because these two will start filling out more, and the characters can only get so far. There's a lot of game to go. A lot of game to There's go. A lot of game to go. For what? now, we are citadel bound. No, I don't know if we are. Why? Why would we go back to the citadel? To turn all that shit in. Turn the horse head. There's the local cluster. We started up there. We worked our way all the way around. Did everything non-essential. Now we go back to Widow. Turn all that shit on. And then you pick. Start at the top of the list and work your way down. Go find him. Tell him. Now we have to deal with the Citadel's internal transport system. <laughs> Gotta remember where everybody is. Yep. Nice land. It's really nice. It's the little details like watching the boats land. The crash. Um, okay, I, I shouldn't be on the galaxy map, but... Oh no. That's fine. That's not fine. You can't walk towards the airlock. I can't walk towards the airlock if I can't fucking dock in the citadel. Dock. Did you not just watch it glitch? Because we just saw the same thing. We landed, the Normandy landed, and then it put me back on the bridge. Unless I have to physically walk out of the dock. Yeah. Oh, you do. That's so fucking shit. I hate that. See, you should just... We could talk to Joker while we're walking past him because we've not spoken to him for about three weeks. Commander, something you need? No. Nope. I have to go. All right, see ya. Later, bitch. Enjoy your brittle bone disease. Uh, who do you want to take? It's Liara and Caden, isn't it? Because the quicker you get that achievement, the quicker you can start picking whoever you want. Okay. And I assume that'll just be Garrus and Liara. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Oh, I've forgotten about this. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. <laughs> Exo Presley dies to a uh, a uh, console blowing up in his face. The start of Mass Effect 2. Hey, dude. Ten hut. That is Rear Admiral Mihailovic. Fifth Fleet. Uh, 
this is a surprise. Salute. Yeah. This is a surprise. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Oh dear. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Uh, think of it as an opportunity? Yeah. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Oh, you fucking oh. better not be talking about the SSV Normandy like that. Oh, yes. She's not over-designed. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment that is true. diverted it billions lose. from our appropriations bills. For the same price, we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Oh. He doesn't like us. He has a point, though. If you remember the start of Mass Effect 2, the Normandy lasts all of three minutes against uh, one collector ship. Okay, go ahead. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Don't fuck it up, Joker. Commander, I'm not happy. Oh, we just got the achievement for using, um... Yeah, Caden and, and uh... Oh, right. So are, that to... counted as a mission. They're up to speed, then. Yeah, we've done everyone now, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, you can pick whoever you want now from now on. Fine. Right, uh, he's not happy. What? About what? About sorry? About what? I bet. About what is neutral, so sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? And we have a Paragon option here. Yeah, it's a Turian go. design. Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide this for a few really, hours anyway? really, really specifically useful. expensive boat. But we've got a Paragon we've point a here. Paragon. It's yeah. useful. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Oh, right. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. The point uh, that Shepard right. made about how we can go anywhere and we're yeah. invisible is actually literally how you play Mass Effect 3 when the Reapers invade, because they can't see you. Excellent. Uh, they're allies. Yeah. They Between are. Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't she win hearts right and minds. stood right next to me. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Good thing we built our Paragon up, eh? We yeah. need to build bridges. I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. I oh, think... No, well, no, <laughs> he, I think he gets... He holds... We got two Paragon for that. He holds the line against the Reapers to buy some time. civilians time to evacuate. Because... Hackett pulls the, the... The second the invasion happens, Hackett pulls the entire fleet out and leaves everyone to die <laughs> because they're not going to win the fight and they need to retreat. So he has to pull everyone out. 
We'd not inspected the hull of the boat for some reason. Alliance officials report that a uh. Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the we Geth suffering yeah. heavy casualties. I did. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Okay, so we then need to go to the journal and find out who you've got to see first. We should. Oh, look! Kalisa Sint Albin Al Jelani. Oh. Don't punch her. Don't punch her. Seriously. Commander Shepard? This is the one you can punch in every game. You can punch her in every game. Don't, because usually the Paragon response is actually cooler. I shall have a go at you in Mass Effect 2 about how many humans died and how you don't care, and you could list the names of every single cruiser that you lose at the end of this game. Kalisa had been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Hmm, all right. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? Honored. The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel <laughs> throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? Yeah, a paragon, man. Oh, it's not like that. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command we of an advanced human warship right for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Ah, we can tell her that the yeah. Turians helped yeah. build it. Yeah. Time to shut you up. That's your option <laughs> to punch her in the face, by the way. If you want to punch her in the face. Nah. By the third game, if you take the puncher in the face prompt, she's actually learnt and she'll block it, but then you get another puncher in the face prompt and you can just break her jaw. Alright. Oh, I don't know why you would, other than it's fun. Nah. Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Uh, th see, this is a really hard prompt now, but luckily you've got enough Paragon. <laughs> the crew is still Alliance. I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Hmm. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? He was behind Eden Prime. The Council protected him. He was behind Eden Prime, wasn't he? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Yeah, I'm a Spectre. I can say whatever the Good fuck I want. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Now I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, by the third game, by the third game, she's learned to dodge, and she will dodge your first two punches. Then she will absolutely fuck up. But, uh, right. So journal first. Uh, this is not where we want to be. We don't where want to be... Where are you going? I gotta work out where we wanna go to the uh oh, right, rapid transit. Here we go. Where are we going now? We've gotta to go to the uh Citadel Tower. For what? To turn in a thing. But we've also run out of time for the session. Right. So the session's over. But we go tell that dude we found out what happened to the thing. Admiral Rear Admiral Kahoku, remember? All right, yeah. He's like over here. There's Emily Wong. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Have you ever seen a character die on Twitter? Because she died on Twitter in the lead up to Mass Effect 3 coming out. She was covering the Reaper War live on Twitter. Mm. And then she rammed a Reaper with her van. Oh, right. She's literally, her last words are, I'll show you how a human dies. And then she puts a bunch of explosives on her van and rams a, weep, or rams a Reaper. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. 
I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, Ooh. I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? <clears throat> Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. We'll see. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Okay, that's a good thing to do. And that is the end of the session. Yeah. Back on the Citadel, and the next session we'll be running around the Citadel for about two hours, talking to everyone and turning in quests. Yep, sounds like a plan.